Nikki Stern, and today I'm here with my friend Matt to make some linoleum asphalt mosaics. You may be wondering what that is. Well, um, it's a way to make artwork that you put on the pavement on the street outside for uh, everyone to enjoy. And um, they first started to appear in Philadelphia in the 1980s, featuring some elaborate and sometimes paranoid messages written on the street. So we've chosen to do this design, which in the spirit of the originals is irreverent and nonsensical from the Prince of Discordia. So um, to get started, the materials you need, you need some real linoleum. Make sure that it's not uh, vinyl flooring. You can tell because linoleum's color goes all the way through. I got this online as a sample. You can order from companies, you can order sample pieces, and they'll just send them to you for free. You'll also need some latex asphalt crack filler. This is used for filling cracks in driveways and things like that. Uh, you can find it at pretty much any hardware store. Make sure to get the kind that's in a bottle like this, not the kind that's in a call gun. You may only be able to find it in uh, summer or warmer months, uh, if you live somewhere if it's cold. The other thing you'll need is some tar paper, also called felt paper. It's used for roofing. Uh, so if you know anybody who does their own roofing, uh, you can just grab a small piece from them. Otherwise, you can get it in a giant roll at the hardware store, uh, which is way more than you'll ever need. But if you live in a place where it doesn't rain very much, you can get away with using just black construction paper. So you'll also need some wood or craft glue, and then little pieces of construction or uh, cardboard to move your glue around. Uh, as far as tools, pretty simple. You'll just need a pair of tin snips for cutting the linoleum and um, a pair of scissors for cutting everything else. The first thing you're going to want to do is transfer your design onto the back of the linoleum. That's the side with this um, burlap on it, using a permanent marker and reverse your letters and uh, design so that it comes out facing the right way on the front of the linoleum using your um, tin snips, of course. You can also use a heat gun and a utility knife if you want more intricate designs, uh, but if you're going to do that, make sure that you are in a well-ventilated area or using a respirator because the linoleum will let off toxic fumes when it's heated. Once you've cut out your design, uh, you need to block it in with uh, bigger pieces of linoleum that will help uh, protect it from uh, cars that drive over it. You can just use a normal rectangle or something like that, but we've chosen to make sort of a uh, triangle weight looking shape for it. Next we're going to um, glue this face down onto a piece of tar paper and we'll cut smaller pieces of this contrasting color to go between the letters to space them apart. Once the glue is completely dry, uh, spread the asphalt crack filler uh, all over the back uh, and making sure to get it deep inside the crevices. Next you're going to apply a piece of tar paper to the back that's just smaller than your design. Once it's stuck down, uh, let it dry for a good 24 hours before going to use your tile. You want to make sure that that asphalt crack filler is good and cured before we go any further. 
We let the asphalt crack filler set overnight and now it's nice and cured. Now we're ready to place our tile. So you want to find a place that's clear of debris. You might want to sweep first beforehand. Um, an asphalt driveway works really well if you have one of those. So now we're going to put another layer of asphalt crack filler on the back, a nice wet one, and stick it down and stomp on it a few times. If it's in your driveway, you can park your car on top of it and that'll help it stick to the asphalt really well. And then in a few weeks, it'll be revealed. Let me show you one that we already did. <laughs> 